Good evening, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Community, brothers and sisters in this forum, my good CEOs, captains of industries, genu CEOs, grand fighters, our fathers and our mothers, young men and women agile in strength. I remain your brother and friend, Reverend Moses from Abuja. This evening, as a voice in the wilderness, I want to recap what happened in Grand Ecosystem from the days of Sam to this time. We remembered very well that sometime in 2016, social estate markets run by Donald Olori Kaede featured and called some few NGOs. They met and went into a rigorous mobilization of the masses. Some of us came into same that same 2016 and since then we've been in the grand ecosystem. July 28, 29, 30 of 2017 we all gathered here in Abuja to launch the social exchange button up program. It was at the JTO Sending Threat Center along Airport Road, Lugbe. We all converged to listen to the bottom up program. After a while, the drama of whether the money had entered or not continued to linger the atmosphere. Hopes were risen. New registration came in. Those who are good at scamming people got a fair business to scam a lot of people. Very cruel NGOs and CEOs took their turn to eat their bread and butter on their subscribers. Sam lingered until October that year. We were called in Lagos at the Redeem Camp, where we went, and all of us, those big shots. NGOs came to display the numbers of banks they have mobilized so far. We were there when all these things were displayed in the public. But soon, we began to hear that the federal government has taken over the money. It's like the government is used as a safe haven for grand handlers. Same became a story that the Financial Crime Commission came in for same, cut it away with uh, their operational properties, and the story continued, the story continued, the story continued. To calm down our nerves, Terpecon came on board, led by our able and humble pragmatic leader Elumama. He presided over the affairs of Tepecon and ran it for a period of a time. Even at that, it was another scamming venture for whoops in grand community devour as much as they could. My brother and elder, Bishop Elomama, tried to stop the scamming in grand system during Tepecon. He introduced measures, he preached to CEOs, 
He encouraged them and used proverbs to caution their extortion. But soon, Tepecon began to decline until the formation of all Grand Pressure Group to fight for us. But invariably, Tepecon was a shield to Sam. The advent of Tepecon took away our attention from Sam and Sam had a fair journey to the oblivion. As Tepecon was about to exceed the grand ecosystem, Choba Global Foundation came with full force and we had echoed and believed that it was a messiah. This messiah called Choba Global Foundation had its period of time to raise people, good and bad, those who could come out and insult and cost many. He continued to promise soon. He continued to promise sooner. He continued to promise the speed of the bullet. He continued to promise uh, 200 uh, 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 speed. And before we could uh, I uh, called Jack Robinson. Chobot became a struggling snake. And before you know it, we began to hear a little smoke sparkling somewhere of an organization called UAG. In September 2022, we began to hear of uh, another grant called US UAG, promoted by some of us who are on different platforms here who are still promoting. We listened to it and finally waited for its maturity. And by March 9th, 2023, God's servant apostle, Professor Ken Wakama came on to address the nation on the modalities of registration. The All Grand Pressure Group, which emanated during Tepecon and did very well through the leadership of uh, Udogu One, Mr. Kingsley, and then through the leadership of uh, Newman George Peter Hope had descended to Comrade Abdul, the German machine. Soon it was a good fight between the All Grand Pressure Group to make sure that the Grand gets to hand. Day in, day out, we had issues in the Grand ecosystem of mandates and no mandates. It continues all through to who has the mandate and who stole the mandate. And then finally, October 31st last year, the verification commenced at Guarimpa. It was a dawn of a new day. We all celebrated the victory. 10 full days of verification from 31st of October all through to November 10th, it was verification. In November 12th, there was a Thanksgiving celebration in the same venue where CEOs that are based in Abuja went to celebrate and thank God for a successful verification. And we were officially told to go and check our app right in a meeting. Some of us were so impatient, we went out to change our app immediately. But from the same venue, we were also disappointed to the fact that the app continued to stare at us the way it was before the Thanksgiving. 
crossing of the river Jordan has been said severally soon continue to emanate and resurrected from where it was laid to rest until we get into the era of government committee. Of course, as we know it, the government is a very good shield for all those who want to have a safe ride by saying it's a government committee. Who are these government committee that are not known? How many people have interfaced with this government committee? They remain a mirage and a story to be told to children. Government committee, nameless government committee, faceless government committee has continued to reign in UAG. We've had the worst lies lied in UAG. We've had the best truth told in UAG. We have several things that are not supposed to be mentioned in the public running through the uh, corridor of UAG. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to bear, we continue to wait, we continue to became, become patient to the point that a lot of people began to even resign. Even the spokesperson of UAG have to resign and call it a scam. But because we believe in the person of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama, we continue to hold on, believing that one day God will smile at us. In the patience, as we continue to wait today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and every little holiday is used as an excuse. Let the Salah finish, let the Christmas finish. If the year was five days more, if the holiday was five days more, this bombardment would have happened. And the government committee have not called Apostle Ken like that, like that. We are here today. Ladies and gentlemen, another grant is surfacing government intervention fund di distributed through the ample arms of other NGOs. I hope this is not coming to distract our attention on the long awaited UAAG US grant which we have suffered, subscribed, spoken for, which we fought, which we've insulted people for, which we've sold our properties to subscribe, which we have done several things. So many people died, so many people were kidnapped, so many people were killed because of the subscriptions and the waiting for UAG to disburse. Of course, the story and the foundation of UAG was better than others, which kept our faith going. Platforms like the Elders Council, Joyce Lovely and team, All Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria, then, and so many platforms, too numerous to mention, stood to give us updates from updates to a great extent some of them went into hyping they continue to dance and congratulatory messages continue to go on until we began to see a glimpse of one of our great promoters of grants began to promote the supreme entertainment initiative grants Gradually, gradually, the, the emancipation of a Supreme Grant and the Government Intervention Fund are coming to dominate and take our attention away from the UAG grants. Ladies and gentlemen, can we learn from the little voice note I'm giving now? Can we learn from the little voice note I'm giving now?
Who allow you to go the way of same? Who allow you to go the way of others? Please, brethren, I want to call our attention back to where we started. We are not going to allow the trend of the new grant to take over our focus on our UAG God-given project. Let us continue to pray that UAG will deliver. Let us continue to pray that all liars in UAG will be swept out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let us continue to pray that God will give the leadership of UAG the hearts to see the suffering of the people and come to their rescue. Let us continue to pray that whosoever is called the government committee should reason with the masses and release what belongs to them. I want to appreciate all of you. We refuse to uh, be swept under the new grant. We remain focused and ardent believers of UAG and we are calling on UAG to prove its capacity. UAG, do not disappoint us like others because it has happened once, it has happened twice. The third one may not be too palatable. It will not be too good. And I pray God will help you to keep to your tenants. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. I remain your brother and friend, Reverend Moses from Abuja. Thank you.